the hell is going on? Everybody's failing. Mrs. Sykes is indicating peripheral neuropathy in my valve transplant patients suffering partial complex seizures. How, uh, how you feeling, Davey? Pretty good. But my feet are a little numb. Yeah, I'm tight, right? Okay. I don't get it. I don't get it. That makes sense. Perry, the autopsy just came in on your donor, Jill Tracy. She didn't die of an overdose. And just like that, whatever burden of responsibility I felt was lifted. But like I said before, good news for one person can mean bad news for another. She died of rapies. Okay, people. All of our transplant patients are infected. We now know what we're dealing with here. Let's get involved. We can do this. We did all we could over the next few days to keep the transplant patients going, but odds were against us. First, we lost Mrs. Sykes. It's just talk. Smiles politely back at you. You stare politely right on through some sort of window to And then Mr. Right. Dennison. And I knew that Dr. Cox needed me the exact same way that I needed him earlier. Hey. Hungry? No. Guess that lunch was kind of a one-time thing, huh? There's no way you could have seen that coming. I mean, rabies? <laughs> Come on, there's like three reported cases a year. In fact, testing for it would have been irresponsible. You would have wasted time if people didn't have. I was obsessed with getting those organs. You had to be. The fact is that those people were going to die in a number of hours, and you had to make a call. I would have made the same call. Yeah. Yes. Now, I got us lunch, and I think we should eat it. Right then, I knew I was going to pull him out of this. But unfortunately, sometimes the hospital picks a day where it's just going to pile it on. Oh, God. Going, your shift's not over. Hey! Remember what you told me? The second you start blaming yourself for people's deaths, there's no coming back. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> 